Thank you. In a previous speech, I called for Australia to reject the World Economic Forum's Great Reset and instead mount a great resist. These were not idle words. Video is circulating online of World Economic Forum crook and mastermind Klaus Schwab bragging about penetrating the cabinets of Western democracies with his young global leaders. Some Klaus Schwab disciples are in this Senate and one is in the cabinet. How this has not triggered a national security investigation is beyond one nation. We certainly would be taking a much closer look given the coordination we are seeing in the policies being enacted by WEF disciples like Jacinta Ardern and Justin Trudeau. One Nation will resist the transfer of wealth from everyday Australians to predatory billionaires. This was the inevitable and deliberate outcome of profligate government COVID spending that the Liberals, Nationals, Labor and Greens waved through this parliament. One Nation will resist exposing our children to adult sexual content in our libraries, in school textbooks and now in kids' programs on the ABC. One Nation will resist the dehumanisation of women through genderless language that erases the very concept of a mother and of a woman. We will not allow the family to be undermined. One Nation will resist the reduction of sex to a soul-destroying, meaningless transaction, the very thing Aldous Huxley warned us about in The Brave New World. One Nation will resist the war on farming that seeks to destroy family farms, rewild the bush and shift food production to corporate-owned, near-urban, intensive factories producing chemically-driven, food-like substances for everyday Australians to eat, while the elites gorge themselves on red meat and seafood. Something they did again last week at COP27 in Egypt, indulging in luxury while spreading poverty. Disgusting. We are one community, we are one nation, and parliaments belong to no one but the Australian people. 